And from there, we went to the conference in, um, in Caracas, a series of meetings around that conference, almost like a speed dating thing with various LGBT activists, like Tamara Adrienne, who's a trans activist. And then we had met academics from the university. And we, then we'd met young radical activists as well, and some poets and some writers. But we did get a really good overview of what was possible. Uh, and, and people listened to what we were doing as well. And from there, we went to Jamaica. We did, the only queer folk we met, or LGBT folk we met, we met with uh, JFLAG, which is the main campaigning organization in Jamaica. So again, it was about getting a sense of the landscape, what the arts were like, what venues were like in, 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 in Jamaica. So when I say outburst, it was just me at the time. And I hadn't traveled before. Outburst, you know, I, I, I was still working part, you know, working full time on a part time salary. We didn't have very many resources. We didn't really have any international connections at the time. So for me, what it was overall was having my eyes open to possibilities for both outbursts, because here we were like a small organization that had been very much grassroots led. So it was a sense for me of, oh, it isn't just us here in, in the North of Ireland who are experiencing, you know, not having a whole lot of money to do things, but still managing to do quite radical work. There are other places in the world doing this too. So how can I connect with the people who are doing it? When I went back home, it was then we started kind of making connections. 